So the other day I was watching Shang-Chi and I was so- Oh my god, why did you do that? I just didn't like the way you delivered those lines. So you punched me in the freaking face? So, the other day I- So, the- So- So the other day, I was watching Shang-Chi, and I was so impressed by the fight sequence on the bus, and how they were able to make it feel so visceral and real without actually hurting anybody. I know the punches and kicks aren't real, but they feel real, and I wanted to know how they did it, so I made a call. I'm a second unit director and stunt coordinator. That's Wade Eastwood. No relation to other Hollywood Eastwoods. He's worked on some of the great action movies of the past decade, and you can see him right there in 2008's Quantum of Solace as Daniel Craig's stunt double. Before Wade even takes a step on set, he and his team will do a ton of prep and pre-visualization. You might be familiar with VFX previs thanks to Marvel. These are the lo-fi animations they do in advance of making the movie. But oftentimes, stunt teams will do... Uh, what I, I call it action viz, I shoot it live, you know, with, with the proper cameras. Action viz often looks more like this. Sets are made of boxes, and stuntmen play the lead roles as they figure out all the action and the camera angles in a safe space. Then, when it comes time to shoot the movie... The main unit would shoot the drama and the acting scenes, and then I would shoot everything action-wise with my unit. Let's break a fight down to its most basic element, like a punch. How do you sell a good punch? Both sides have to work, the A side and the B side. But the person throwing the stunt punch throws it with a, you know, the best movement and performance you can have, but the person receiving it does a really lame reaction. It, it, it doesn't work. Both parties have to give 100%. This is important because the actors and the stunt people generally aren't actually hitting each other which can look fake if you're not stacking the action, which is the cool industry term for saying that the people on the punching need to be layered in a way that cheats the camera. If we're not stacking the action... Obviously you can see it as a distance, it's not a cell. But if I'm here suddenly, I need to do a punch and I react, it can come across. So we have the same gap, it's just where we put the camera. It's a couple of inches, it's, you know, maybe a foot max, depending on what it is. Sometimes though, as Michael B. Jordan explained on The Graham Norton Show, you have to actually make contact to sell it. When you do slow-mo shots, you can't fake it. You would see the space and it, it just wouldn't, it wouldn't connect. This is Michael B. Jordan taking a real punch. Yeah. And action. <laughs> The B side of a hit, aka the person getting hit, has all the power in terms of selling how hard a punch should be. So a small hit might leave me unfazed. But if I get hit... So if I fall to the ground, it looks a lot more powerful. But knowing how to fall correctly and safely is a whole skill on its own. If you watch a, a big car crash, the kinetic energy is breaking down throughout the whole move. If that car hits a wall and stops dead, the driver inside would be dead because your body cannot withstand that much impact. And that's really the thing with falling. You've got to just do just enough. The forearm might just absorb a little bit before the shoulder does, before the back does, before the whole body is. And it's 5%, 5%, 5%, and making sure that you make it look really gnarly, but you're actually, it's not that gnarly. Although obviously sometimes you are gonna hurt yourself, bruise yourself, pop a rib, you are gonna do something. But that can be mitigated with strategically hidden padding, which you can see right here, in this scene from Atomic Blonde. Though these stairs are supposed to look like marble or concrete, this bend indicates that it's a much safer and softer material. I use quite a lot of soft materials where I can. I'll have our art department make something look exactly like wood or concrete, whatever it is. And if we didn't have the padding, we'd do one or two takes, it'll be really painful. And you probably wouldn't hit, hit it as hard. So we put a little bit of high density absorption in there and you can hit it much harder and you can do multiple takes. And for that brief moment, the audience get to live that hard impact with you. And once that fight goes into post-production, there are even more tricks used to make it look like the hits are just a little bit harder. Like, that hit looks pretty hard, but if you cut out the frame where the fist is supposed to make contact, your brain will fill in the gap, and it'll look like there's just a bit more power to that hit. You can see this trick used in this shot from Shang-Chi, where Simu Liu's elbow pops on impact. You can also do things where visual effects can slightly, we don't do it, but a lot of movies do, where you can extend the fist and actually make it 
hit the face. You can see a good example of this in this clip from No Time to Die, where the VFX team gave Ana de Armas digital legs, and they pull the stunt guy in slightly closer to get more energy out of the hit. And of course, the sound design of a fight scene can add clarity as to when a swing misses or hits. And if you took the sound out of the scene completely, you wouldn't as easily be able to tell how softened a blocked kick feels, or how bone-shatteringly hard a punch feels. But no matter how cool a fight looks, it won't feel exciting if there's no stakes. While I love the Avengers movies, some of the scenes where they're just tearing through an army of bad guys kind of washes over me a little bit. But then you have something like Back to the Future, where the whole movie builds to this one punch that changes the course of history. There's a lot of fights that are out there that are, you know, great spectacles of fights. But if you look at why they're fighting or what it's about, it's not, there's not really any rhyme or reason. But when it's a proper fight, a proper journey, a proper, you know, a bit of emotion. That is when a fight feels exciting. That is when a fight feels exciting. That is when a fight feels exciting. How was that? Oh, God, no! What were you impressed by, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I was watching Shang-Chi. <laughs> I was looking you two dead in the eyes. <laughs> yeah. Hitting each other. Sorry. <laughs> I forgot That's that okay. that was what I punched. <laughs> Sorry, okay. I'm laughing. I no, can't okay. see you right was that like too? I feel like that was maybe too silly on the delivery. It's too silly, but cool. All right, I think that's a wrap. <laughs>